it's Dr. Katie Henry from drkatiehenry.com. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I wanted to come to you today with the last challenge for the month of March. So if you have missed any of the other topics that I have been talking about this month, I'll give you a little rundown of what we've been touching on. So I've been giving you a challenge each week to do something in each different way. And this got inspired, or I got inspired to do this kind of challenge um, by March Madness in basketball. So my dad is a basketball coach and my brother is now a coach and I've been in sports pretty much my whole life. And so I love that, that challenge and that kind of stuff. And so when I think of March, I think of basketball, March Madness, you know, all that craziness. But I actually love the, the parallel of the challenge that happens in sports and how that can really be paralleled into our life. So I've been giving you guys a challenge to take on each week this month. So we started with, uh, you know, really challenging and asking yourselves, who am I and, and why am I here and what is my, what is my purpose? So kind of digging into, you know, who you are and why you're showing up in this world and then I challenge you guys to think of what do you really want? What do you desire? How how are you going to be able to, you know, identify that? And then once you identify what you desire, I challenge you to go out and do it, right? Just go after it. And then last week it was about getting outside your comfort zone and doing something that scares you and doing something that gives you that like, oh my God, I can't believe this is going to happen, but you still do it anyway. So it's like facing your fears, but then doing it anyway without worrying about the how so much, but just go after it and do it. So my last challenge for you for this March madness is I challenge you to have a little bit of faith and trust. And you know what? That challenge is one that I face literally every day. Even though I'm a very spiritual person, even though I'm someone who feels pretty connected to what I want, who I am, what I desire, and you know, the ability to know that I'm not alone in this world and that there is a being greater than me, God, the universe, and whatever you want to call it, you know, it's not as much about what it's labeled, but just to know and trust that there is something outside of you that has your back, right? It's still something I struggle with every day. Even though I do meditations, I do a prayer, you know, I get, I try to get out of my own way, but then life happens, right? And life makes you question. Life makes you wonder why have faith? Why do this? Why do that? But what I'm challenging you to do this week is to come back to your faith no matter what. Come back to that belief. Come back to that foundation that you have that is, I am not alone. So my challenge for you this week is, how can I have a little more faith? How can I trust? How can I know that I am not alone? I do not have to do it all. And how can I trust and believe that when I step back and when I kind of get out of my own way and I surrender and I have faith and I trust, that that's when all the good things are going to come in. And that's when all of the things I desire are going to happen. So my challenge for you is to be able to answer that question. How can I have a little bit of faith? And it's going to be different for everybody. So that faith may just be you know, that doubting thought that you have, write it down and say, wait, this isn't true. I actually believe X can happen. Maybe it's doing a meditation. Maybe it's doing a daily prayer. Maybe it's offering up your day to, to God or the universe. You know, I say, and this is from A Course in Miracles, but I say, you know, where will you have me go? What will you have me do? How can I serve? How can I show up in this world to make an impact? You guys, this is super cheesy, but this is my goal pretty much every day. What can I do to make someone else smile today? What can I do to improve somebody else's life? And when I ask myself those questions, that's when I'm having faith. That's when I'm trusting and that's when I'm connecting. So I ask you, what can you do to have a little more faith, to have a little more trust? 
if you want to share, just comment below this video, or you can reach out to me at katie at drkatiehenry.com. Thank you so much for listening. And as always, go do something today that brings you joy. The more you experience joy in your life, the more you're going to be in that state of joy as who you are and who you be. So go do something today that brings you joy. Thank you so much and go live it guys. Bye.